Hello everyone, welcome to Existential Gamers Live. I'm gonna make sure this is working because sometimes I turn it on and the microphone doesn't work. But uh, today I'm joined by Mr. Josh Green again in person. Uh, so I decided to change up the camera thing uh, just for today <laughs> so we can see both of us. Um, of course, I'm on top as always. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> it's just like, mm. no, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, Why we're. Everyone's ever on the top bunk. It's probably crushed the person that just exactly. No, don't see them. Well, I'm just a big guy in general. Yeah, you're a big guy. <laughs> right? but the, the, hopefully, the, the bunk is strong enough to hold you up. Yeah, if it's made out of steel beams. Well, that, hopefully, that's there's not no. not even a joke about my way. I'm not being mean to myself. Hopefully, there's no jet fuel, you know? Oh. <laughs> What's up, Adrian Rendon? It's good to see you again, sir. Glad to have you back. I why did I do that? Because you thought about it. I shouldn't have thought about. It. Oh. No. But uh, we're back again to finish some grease. Not that grease, but the other grease. Grease. You know, like the the Broadway show, the movie, the musical. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, Why did gonna... I invite you again? Those... <laughs> because people are going to see the nuances of my sarcasm now and only only have to worry about... Oh. I guess I have to hover over it. Yeah, you can. Oh. You gotta do it. I think I'm going to start using this camera. I feel like this one has a better frame rate than this one. Yeah, it might. And I've been using this one this entire time. So, now I know. You... Why did I do that again? Because I was not paying attention. <laughs> what game is this? This is Greece. G R I S. It's uh, gray in in Spanish, I think, or in French. Hover, 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 hover. I did. It didn't do anything. That's what's going on. So oh, gotta, what were you gonna say? I was like, you gotta like wait. Hit that. No, that doesn't make it easy. No, no, no. Maybe I'm jumping too early. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's okay. What I'm thinking. So like. Wait until they both show up. Got it. There. there we go. There we go. <gasps> no! Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get those decibels up and people will be like, ow. Nah, you're you're farther away from the microphone than I am. Nice. And I scream all the time, so Oh wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, right, there's a there's a thick button. <laughs> thick button. You get thick. So this game is not that long. Um, I don't know if it's gonna take up all two hours, but uh, I'm sure it's not. From what I remember, oh, I'll just do that again. Um, so we finished early. I do plan to play some Dead by Daylight today. Oh, plenty Whoa. of butterflies for me to jump into the air. Pretty sure there's like some secrets or something like that. I just don't care to get all this stuff. Speed. Just speeding along, seeing what this game is about, appreciating the beauty, but in a fat. Can I? Wow, that got weird real quick. What? It's trying oh, to reveal the. It's trying to reveal the butterflies. Cool. Oh, nice. What? You okay? No, I'm fine. Well, then shut up. No, I'm just kidding. What? How dare you invite me into your house and treat me this way? <laughs> I'm a guest, I am not a slave. I'll do that to people at work too. <laughs> They'll just be like, ah, I'm like, can you shut up? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nobody cares about <laughs> your pain and your sorrow as we're playing a game about depression. <laughs> about pain <laughs> and sorrow. Oh no. oh no, she's gonna do it. She's thinking about it. What is going Whoa, what? That's her depression. Oh wow. The big bird. The big burb. Seriously? Oh, thank God. Oh, is that oh, a boss fight? me. I just gotta get away from the burb. I got scared for a second. I was like, whoa. <laughs> they just straight did it. Uh, you got a question. When are you gonna play Undertale? In August, we will be playing Undertale. Yeah. Two months from now. Oh, I'm a part of that one, right? Yeah. Yes. I can finally see it completed. <laughs> <laughs> I played it, I got it on Switch, so I haven't played it yet. 
I have played some of it. Like, I got a bunch of unfinished games. Like, I got that. I got, um... Jesus Christ. You can't stop this thickness. You can't stop this thickness. You guys, you see, this is a perfect example. You know, when things get tough, when there's a lot of adversity in your life, sometimes you just gotta pretend you big and just go, Phew! Can't stop me! That bird's like, I'm confused. And Why is there a brick coming at me? <laughs> Why is there a big girl? I thought it was a tiny girl. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say is uh, I don't mean though like not to like pretend like you know like you know they say like just smile and it makes you feel better no that's bullshit okay I'm not saying that what I'm saying is that you have to tell yourself to push forward you have to find it deep inside you that things are gonna you know not necessarily be okay because at the moment yeah you are feeling things and that's valid but you have to kind of convince you know not even convince yourself just understand because at the end of the day life that's just what it is it's gonna be full of ups and downs sometimes more than more than you know than most people and they're your ups and downs yep, not anybody else's existential <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh, I, it's something i wanted to talk about today was that i kind of had the opposite today or had i guess i could have easily turned Oh, just kidding. Uh, I could have easily turned my day into something bad. But I actually enjoyed my day today, even though, like... Oh, I think I'm supposed to, like, get pushed by the bird. I, I relatively enjoyed my day today, even though, like... There was a couple things that were on my mind that could have bothered me all day. But, as you know, day, today was pretty good. And I actually felt so overwhelmed because I was just thinking about all the good things that have been happening that I actually got really anxious. I was just like, oh shit, I can't, uh, what do I do? <laughs> and then I realized like anxiety is not a, is not a bad thing. It's literally just like you're full, you're over, it's just overwhelming, I guess, in a sense of motion, which yeah. emotion, motion is just this energy that you're getting from uh, feeling, you know, different feelings that you get. Yeah, I want to point out, and I'm sure you noticed it, but you utilize your depression sure. to push you forward. A that is so true. Tell yourself, like you, 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 like you know, there's moments where it needs to be there and you need to grieve. But yes. See, and there you go. Oh, oh but go. sometimes it goes. Through. You know, sometimes you mess up. You just gotta keep pushing forward. Try again. He's like, well, Walt Disney said at the end of um, Meet the Robinson, even though that's what he said originally he was at Disney. Okay, so I have to slow down at the end there so I can land on that and then I'll scream again yep. Yep. Mm. The mechanics of it. I actually like the mechanics of things honestly. you like the mechanics of things yeah like like the mechanics of games I enjoy seeing I mean like I'm not into programming and stuff but I uh -huh. like to see how it gets to that just way. the concepts and stuff like that like yeah, oh yeah. they got that idea I hate um not to decimal systems, but I hate. Um, it's a strong word. Yeah, I know. I use big. I use big words. Oh wait, <laughs> stairs up there. I um I do not Wait. like coding at all. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I'm just not your preference. It is not, and my I I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my mama, but my mom always thought that I would be pretty decent at computer programming, and I am not at all decent at the programming of software engines like this used to make video games. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure if somebody sat me down and taught me how to make a game, I probably could do it. So it's one of those You can days. do anything. I know I can do anything. You I can even fly, go out on the rooftops and fly. <laughs> Okay, Rocky Balboa. No, I was thinking of, uh, what is it? Uh, Key and Pill. They had a skit oh. where the guy, like, just won a basketball game. He's like, you have anything to say to the kids? Like, you can do anything. You just gotta believe. You gotta do anything. You wanna fly? You can fly. Get a spread your wings out and you just jump and just fly. And he's just like, uh, actually, uh, that's not true. Uh, you cannot do that, guys. Please, kids, do not try to 
try to fly and then like it, it like goes to like where he's like more like not in that like passionate moment of like winning that game like and uh he's just sitting there like all like 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 serious is like i'm sorry about the words that i said after that victory that i had like i apologize to all the families of the children that <laughs> Oh no! I was like, "Oh Jesus Christ, that's awful!" What is hilarious? The morbid humor. Oh, oh no! Old bird time. The crashing bird. I like how it scares the crap out of me too. That's how it feels sometimes, though. Honestly. It just pops up out of nowhere. And you're just like, ah! And you're just like, bitch. What? Oh. What the hell? Ring them bells. Show that impression one four. Just gonna open that up. You gonna do it again now? Mm -hmm. Try me. Okay, so it's fine. You gonna shake the fresh foundation. Okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> oh, you saw that? Yeah. The bird's uh, face turned into her face for a second there. Oh, I missed yeah. that, but. It was like for a quick second. We did it! That's it? That's the game? No. What to say? You're gonna be back in California, Junior? Awesome. Tomorrow? Oh, shoot. That's quick. You wanna hang out? Wait, <laughs> Wednesday. What am I doing tomorrow? Shoot, I keep missing the thing. I am... I have... How long are you going to be over here? Because I have Thursday off. I want to hang out. He's like, only for work. Oh, you know what? I don't have my stream avatars over here. Whoops. Oh, I was like, no. something's missing here. There's no little people running around. Yeah, I was going to say. Bruh. 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 I guess going to the beach. Going surfing. Well, she. Which is what the beach is for. I don't like to be in the water, so. Because of whale shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said it. That's not what I said. Why are you feeling. <laughs> you said whale. Oh, god damn it. Shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, wait, what? Facebook integration. What? I'll have to look at that later. Sorry, there's an update for the stream avatars. I think I can only... I wish they would let me have all three of my platforms at once so people on Facebook, I can see that they're on as well along with Twitch and um, YouTube. YouTube. So I could, this whole thing would be filled because there are a couple people that watch me on YouTube and then there's a good amount of people that watch me on Facebook. So Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I sneak in and out. How dare you? You see me. I'll pop in every once in a while like, hey. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't? No. Really? On Facebook? Yes. Oh, see, I don't get comments on Facebook. That's the only thing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. When I post something, though, it shows up. I'll even show you it. Meanwhile, something's happening. I don't know. Yeah, something's, something you know, we should watch this first. Is actually happening in the game. She's getting her voice back. We're unlocking blue. The color of blue. Do you know blue is the rarest color in the world? The red. Yeah. You're probably thinking though. Also, isn't that the um holy mammoth flag? What? It looks like the color scheme design of the flat like the lights that came down look like the color scheme of the polynamorous flag. So, what are, what's a polynamorous? You you haven't seen the different flags that indicate uh, transgender, polynamorous, and all that? You know, honestly, I don't really care about flags in general, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. But yeah, that, that looks like the color scheme of a, one of the one of the pride flags. You know how many flags use red, white, and blue? Not any that I care about. And that includes France. I don't like France. I don't care. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that color schemes of flags are not going to be that unique. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Yeah, I just, I'm just saying. 
Is what <laughs> I don't like France. I don't like Australia. Why don't you like France? What do they do? Because they never made French fries. They lied to me. Oh my god. They lied God's. to me. <laughs> I was all like, hmm, French fries, French toast. Man, the French people have great taste. And they're like, it's all American. No! What if, what if they... Okay, so they're all Americans, so they're going to get mad at the French? <laughs> I'd be mad at the French because they lied to me. They're they didn't like, lie to you. America lied to you by saying that it's French. That's what it should have been. I can't do this joke anymore. <laughs> Freedom fries were dumb. Oh, that was just the... I mean, they didn't have to put... It doesn't have to be the same letter. You could have just said American fries. Pli they could have just said fries. Yeah. But no, they wanted to make it patriotic and nationalistic and whatever. This is not a political show. I need to shut my mouth. The whole idea of that to me is kind of silly it was silly. it's like me saying oh you know i'm a philosopher because i like to read a lot and you know write and stuff and to read a lot of philosophy so i'm a no i'm not a fucking philosopher you're just a dude i'm just i just i mean i like the stuff uh, that they talk about and everything but you know yeah. just because i practice it like in a sense like you know the things that they talk about doesn't mean it makes me that yeah would you consider yourself kind of a cynic or a cynic yes what would you consider a cynic well, since I actually kind of read up on it, and it kind of uh, sticks more towards um, the idea of letting the natural world kind of handle itself, and you do what you need to do and not seek out like fame, fortune, and stuff. Basically, you get to do what you want to do without constantly seeking uh, admiration for it, is ah. from what I've understood. That's what a cynic is? Yeah. And it's not what we kind of come to think it is, which is people who are like, oh, the world's so mean. Well, that's just pessimists. It's yeah. pessimism. They, they mix up cynics with uh, pessimism. Pessimists. And, yeah. I kind of like the idea of, cynic, of uh, being a cynic because it's just me going and enjoying my uh, abilities that I have, including writing and making music and not necessarily seeking... Do you think you're a cynic? I wouldn't say I am, but... Sorry, I'm oh. just... Oh, the game? Sorry. There we go. No, I'm definitely not a cynic, but I like the idea of it. Kind of like I like the idea of Buddhism, you know? Mm. But I would have to practice power. it because I like materialistic things and um, my room would be a perfectly good example, which I wish I had a room as big as yours because a lot of the stuff that I have in my room would probably fit better. But that's that's something I gotta do on my own. I gotta go and get a bigger room in my own house. Or just clean out Someday. my darn garage for a while. And I'll be a temporary space. I never know if I'm supposed to jump off or not. Okay, you gotta follow that voice, follow that voice, follow that little pink circle voice. I don't voice. have a voice. You have a voice, what are you talking Where's my voice at? The little pink circle on your thing there. Oh, hey, there you go. Oi! What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I wasn't ready. I still wasn't ready. <laughs> Oh, could I have? I could have jumped again. Oh. I did it too early that time. I'm figuring this out. At the top of the arc, and then bam. Oh, barely. So what about going that way instead? The red butterflies—they're leading me the way. Yeah, but I mean, you can use the red butterflies to jump that way. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm that dad. I'm old enough to be that dad that's like, hey, so don't go that way. It's like, shut up, dad. You don't know how to play video games. It's like, well, that's what you think. <laughs> no, dabbing. Dabbing. We're dab dabbing back because oh there's goodness. a wall over there. Oh my goodness. Why haven't they thought about this yet for a YouTube situation? Uh, YouTube uh, shorts. What? Dabbing dads. That's exactly why they haven't thought of that. Think about it, though. You know how much freaking money those guys would be working in? Damn it! Oh, yeah. These butterflies that way. Well, oh, the other way? No, I'll shoot you. It basically just shoots There shoot we go. You. Oh, hey! Oh, I couldn't make it before. 
don't know why I just couldn't make it. Because you heard dab and dab. Whoa! Okay, what am I missing here? Apparently I'm, I'm supposed to have seven of those dots. Oh, we got hundred dots down. Can I destroy this place? Nothing. I'm angry! Oh, you're fine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do. And as uh, the comedian W.C. Field says, If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Then give up. There's no point being a fool about it. Have you ever watched the W.C. Fields movie? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like be like, well, you can't use the quotes, but uh, I, that's gatekeeping. That's dumb. I know people that uh, I see people like wear uh, like hats or um, shirts of things that I like, and part of me kind of think like, there's one time I asked them, I was like, oh yeah, you, you like that thing? I was like, ah oh, no, it's just my kid's you know shirt, whatever. I'm like, oh, just my kid's shirt. I mean, you know, form over fun. Function over form. Yeah, I guess. It's just that, really. Yeah. yeah. Cool. At the end of the day, people see certain things as just what they are. A shirt <laughs> and a hat. Yeah. Okay, what am I missing here? Okay, something down here then, maybe. Did I miss down here? I'm lost. This way? Without this care. Way? We have three dots. I was going the wrong way the entire time. Oh, wow. Something coming out of nowhere. No, nope, never mind. Hey, bro. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Not at the moment. Is where we came from? I think so. At least you can swim. I wasn't paying attention where we came from last time. <laughs> We're in the middle of the conversation. Going down, down, down. Oh, oh hey, no, that's we did new. not come from here. What is this hollow night? Hello, hello. She couldn't get higher, so she went lower. Hey, your buddies. <laughs> don't, don't be dabbing and smashing. <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. I just did. And I didn't do it. Yep. You know what? Sorry, you're right. Let me try that. I'm not gonna do what you tell me. Okay, rebel. Speaking of rebel, uh huh. I just saw pictures of Rebel Wilson and the weight loss she's gone through. She was determined, and I am inspired by her. Cause she looks healthy now. Not that she didn't look healthy back then. My bad. No, that seems terrible. Oh, but I, I know mean, she was having. She was having. There's a difference between life. healthy and okay. Yeah. She she <laughs> even mentioned she was having overeating problems because of depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. So. So she wasn't healthy. She wasn't. <laughs> so there you you're go. You're right. You're right. She wasn't healthy. <laughs> so people gotta understand the difference between attraction and and just healthiness. Like. Yeah. You can be attracted to somebody who's unhealthy. You know what you I mean? It sound, you can make it sound weird, yeah. I do. I like Rebel Wilson. She's very attractive. I mean, I'm yeah, gonna I like her that. no matter what because I think she was kind of... Whoa! She was my side of you know, typical quirky Hollywood standout. Mm -hmm. So, I like all the quirky weirdos. Like, uh, Audrey Plaza and um, who else? Uh, uh, Audrey Plaza, uh, Elliot Page now. Um, oh, yes. Uh, as well as oh my goodness, who's who's getting married to Andrew WK? All of a sudden, Kate Dennings. So if anybody in the world has thought. What an odd couple to get married. Andrew W.K. and Kate Dennings. They were a match made in heaven. I never saw it coming. And, um, God, who's another one? Uh, 
Now I'm talking about Crash Evil Foot Show. It's not existential anymore, it's a gossip show. Ooh! Get out of here. <laughs> we do not do that in this show. <laughs> I don't really care for that stuff. So. I know, I get that. So I don't really remember a lot of actors' names. Yeah, that's the one thing that made real boys real. <laughs> I know, Trying they'd be like, oh of... yeah, this person, this one. I'm like, what the hell are we talking about? Yeah, this, and I'm going to I'm gonna stare at the camera and point. This guy, if I like get in your camera, this guy. <laughs> we would, me and Alfredo would be talking about directors. I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's done some really good work. And then. Mike over here would be like, Paul, what? Who? <laughs> Who? What do you mean, Paul Bier Bironi? Or, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. But the guy who created Robocop, or uh, wrote Robocop. You know, honestly, it's just like any other like factoid thing where it's just like, I'll remember it if like it's just brought up a lot and eventually it sticks to me, you know? Yeah, and I, it's, it's also an interesting. I understand like you like movies, but you're not super interested in that aspect of movie. I, it's just, I haven't put it in the time for it. I mean, it's just yeah. like anything. But like this, this is your thing. You love games. <laughs> you love playing. <laughs> you love developing. You yeah. Love, you know, this is this is I mean, where you put okay. your time in. And it's not a bad thing. It's just... And it like... <laughs> how do I say it that way? It's not a bad thing. Um, it's what's your interest in. I mean, it can be bad to you. I mean, I'm not gonna say like that. This is bad to me. Oh. I love video games. I just never have had. I haven't had the chance to play them as much mm -hmm. since uh, I... I started like my fifth or sixth year of college. Mm -hmm. I, think it was. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's not that I'm not interested in knowing like actors and directors and stuff like that. Like that would be the wrong thing to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just that I haven't put in the time to memorize anybody those mm. people's names and stuff like that yeah that makes sense I mean, some things yeah i'm not that interested like in their their lives and stuff like that unless it's no. like something inspirational or motivational that i can take and you know learn something from it yeah for sure and like when we were talking about jacob's ladder you definitely were involved in it because of the way they um had influenced uh silent hill mm. and um you, like Jacob Blair has influenced a lot of games. Think about it. Hello. Oh. The hell? Did... Oh, okay. So I just wait, make a little frozen copy of me. Jump on it. Nope. Didn't... Another one. Do another one. That didn't work. Nothing. What is that even? The hell? What? Okay. Nope. Maybe it can't be in the air, or against the wall. No, can't be on the in the air. This is I a don't, useless power. I don't get it. Try again. Can I, I have to be in the light. Oh! I have to turn into a cube and be frozen. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait. Turn into something. Alright. Aha! Ah! <laughs> mm. Very nice. What? The man. Very nice. You can't stop me. All right, one more. You got really quiet. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we were, I, I was just trying to focus and figure out. I was using my energy to uh, figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, that was a little. That one was a little interesting. Now the the power is no longer useless. It's actually quite useful. <laughs> <laughs> ain't 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 that how it is? How life is and everything. Everyone always thinks it's useless until it isn't. Yep. Everyone thinks it's a monster till it ain't. You, gotta, you probably gotta do it down there. And then stand on top of the next one. <laughs> or just jump in. There you go. Oh my. Oh my lanta. Boom! Just gotta keep it like this. Nope. 
Yeah, we've got. Oh yeah, we got the door, right? And then, no, I was wrong. Okay, I don't. I don't care. Hmm. really smart that's a smart puzzle I like that okay you gotta stretch oh my goodness you know what they did it's okay they have loser bellies oh how are you gonna get back up with the power of belief, I learned how to turn into a fish. What? I am now a manta ray. I learned how to be a, a part of the ocean. God, this weird way of like... I don't want to say personifying, but like... Uh, making um, adaptations of your uh, abilities to uh, cope. See, this is a rep Well, that's a giant sunfish. Look at that in the background. Um, I feel like it's a representation of how we sometimes have to dive deep into our own psyche in order to understand our, you know, problems. And sometimes it can be a little scary. I mean, the, the ocean is scary. It is. But sometimes we have to be brave oh, enough. No! We have to be brave enough to get to the other side. The shadow side. So the water's got to be fog. <laughs> Need four more. But yeah. How long has it been? Already? Thirty minutes. Yeah. Thirty minutes. So this is like a two-hour game. So yeah. we already spent. I did take a long time last time. Though, so. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. Wait, where am I going? I gotta go under, through. Oh. No. Well, can't go that way. Oh, what is this? Red things. What do you guys do for me? What have you done for me? I can wait. Drop, drop. I know you're affiliated now, but I still can't keep you. Okay, what do these things do? Nothing so far. They haven't taught me how to use this, so I don't know what it is yet. When you get out of the water, you can't... You lose them, so... And then this is a wall. Okay, okay. I don't know what to do. And you... What about going over there? Where? Can you go past that? No, it's a wall as well. Can you use it to? Oh, to get back. Okay. Ah! They're water flies. I don't know. Water. That's cool. Water butterfly. Oh, see. You go down. Boom. Now the other side is open. Yep. Then we can go in here. The water is fine. We need the butterflies again. Where's more? Oh, and then we unravel them. Oh, nice. Go! Butterfly! Alright, so that's one. That's cool. I like that. These puzzles are making me go nuts. I love them. Is this as great as the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. But I do like the fresh to French Toast Crunch better. With their lies, the French. If I even in the picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm back here. Mm -hmm. It's about to get real. Yeah, because you should. Sounds <laughs> 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 What? 
Because you're chilling? A chill. Why do you sound dumb? I think it's fine. So that makes it dumb? Yeah, I guess. Are, are you saying, like... Okay, so... I'm not, like, saying it's dumb in the sense of I'm a dummy, but I'm saying it just sounds silly. Oh, it's just silly. Okay. Yeah, it's just silly. Yeah, no, I'm, See, not, I'm not dumb for saying it. Words are important, Josh. You have to really clarify what you're saying. Yeah, no, context, context, blue, blue, blue. No, it's not just blue, blue, blue. Okay, serious stuff. Hey, Drac. Who the hell's Drac? Dracula. Oh. And he says that? No. But, um. I said blue, blue, blue. Oh. Like Dracula. <laughs> Did not say blue, blue, blue. Puzzles are killing me. I love it. So when I keep saying killing me, I'm just like, it's like, oh, this is great. Not like I'm dying. Thank you. I was really worried that you meant you were dying. I was worried for you. You're welcome. For your health. I mean, I am dying. If we want to get this is existential. Game do, you, do you find it interesting? <laughs> <laughs> I am we are all dying, dying. guys. Remember <laughs> that. Memento mori. Memento mori. Memento mori. But amor fati. Love of fate. So love love your fate, but also remember death. Oh. Are am I anxious about irreversible climate change? I was at first, but you know, at this point, I mean, what can we do? You know, we're individually there's is not a lot we can do. We can work our asses off and try to be in a uh, motive you know, what's the word? Um at the drop in. We can, you know, do what we need to do to make the proper, um, proper well, efforts, but we all yeah, ultimately have to, unfortunately, rely on what. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that, as much as it sucks, and it's, we can't necessarily reverse it anymore, we have to think of like hell Mary at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't make me anxious because at the end of the day, it's a mental thing, you know, like, how can I explain it? The whole world could be literally on fire as much as it already kind of is already. Um, and it's still up to you at the end of the day to be the one to be like torturing yourself mentally. Yeah. Just to sit there and make the difference as best you can. Yeah. So it, have they finally stated that climate change is irreversible? Oh, it's been already a while. It's just we uh, every, pretty much one person, one human being produces about a million, uh, a million tons of, uh, or not sorry, million sorry, one ton of um, carbon dioxide a year. Just one human being, and like there's a place in Sweden that gets rid of about twelve thousand tons of. Uh, Carbon? carbon emissions a year only 12,000 we would have to have a bunch of you know stations and even then i mean that's so much like we're trying to figure out ways to do it it, it kind of makes me think of the spongebob meme where it's like we tried burning <laughs> or it's like we tried burying it we tried giving it away <laughs> it's just it's, it's just that whole thing like yeah. they're trying to do a lot of things with it and there's always been a lot of pushback though anyway from stuff like that yeah, it's it, the thing is though is that, and that's why I kind of I'm kind of glad I read that book, the the Robert Greene book, not that one, but the Laws of Human Nature, which I have the physical copy coming in pretty soon, uh, because it makes me realize that the reason why we struggle to that you know we struggle to get thing a lot of things done, is that we have some people who understand human psychology and are using it for their own you know selfish needs, and we have people who uh, don't understand psychology at all and they want to help the world and everything but they don't understand the psychology so they're just making it worse in a sense their 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 aggression their you know narcissism all that stuff is not understood to them so they you know they don't accomplish much because they're going about it in a sense wrong i guess circles. yeah it's all circles man I mean, you see with politics, you know, people are constantly giving each other attention, anger at each other. And they're just like, why can't these people understand, you know, my side of the view and everything? It's like, you're being just as aggressive as they are. You might have the right point of view, you know, depending on who you're asking. But at the end of the day, 
you're being just as aggressive. And aggression plus aggression doesn't equal, you know, you know, solution. Mm -hmm. One what side has to, to be the big... I don't know, I was trying to figure out what I could do there, but I couldn't figure anything out. Excuse me. Skirt! I have to get up there to get the butterfly and then get... I think... Oh, this is just a secret area. I don't need this. This is a memory, whatever. Memento. Is that the secret area? The ones that have the little rings and stuff like that are the ones I don't have to get. But yeah, that's how I feel about that. I'm not too really too worried. I mean, it's unfortunate. It's something that I wish wasn't happening. But at the end of the day, I can't really do much about it at this moment. What can we do? I, I like the um, one of the chapters I read in the the what is it decoding the world book, um, where they said he was talking about his niece and how his niece is doing all this stuff to like you know get her family to be more green. You know they're like eating they're being vegans. They're you know she's always keeping up on the news and you know doing her little part to do it. And he says you know it's it's adorable and it's sweet that she's trying her best. But at the end of the day. Oh, I can't go down there. Uh, at the end of the day, it's really not doing anything. It really isn't. All it's doing is making her feel better. Making her feel like she's doing something. Go out, enjoy a cheeseburger, and just live your life. If you can, at certain points, make a difference, go but, for but it. But see, and that's the paradox about it, is that individually, each one of us feels that way, mm -hmm. and we feel like we can't do anything. And at the end of the day, if we all felt the same way, we'd actually get something done. But then, of course, that's the whole, like, well, I don't know. It's like, it's like a puzzle, almost. Like, you, ha you have to figure out some way how to get everybody to do it at the same time. Yeah. Um, instead of just one person each time. Because eventually, you know, you get a couple people to do it, like, individually. And some of them are just going to eventually get tired. And it's like, I've been trying, and it's just not, it's not working. And I just want to go back to whatever comfortable comfortable life and everything. Because some people, that's the thing. Like, even if you got a bunch of people to, like, go towards that direction and stuff like that, some people, it's just not their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I've already been over here. What am I missing? What am I missing? That's not their lifestyle. And you can't really get mad at them for not making that their lifestyle because, you know, we all grow up certain ways. And it just, it takes a lot to get somebody motivated to be a certain way. Yeah. that's why it's unfortunate like you know when people get mad at like people who are racist and things like that like it's so obvious like how can you not you know uh, be right you know how are you racist and all this stuff it's like yeah it's obvious to you because it made sense to you you have to understand that it's not gonna make sense to everybody even though it sounds absolutely crazy mm -hmm. because it's like how can you hate something you know some another person another human being but Yes. You have you would have to see their whole life and see how what led them up to that situation. Yeah. yeah and that's agree. and but not people don't want to put that work in. No, and I import I, I don't want to say unfortunately agree with you, but I do agree with you. It's hard to sit there. You know, if you can take the time and listen to people and understand from their perspectives, please do it. Mm. You know, that's the best way to do it. Or just um, you know, go live your life. And... Huh. You have to. You have to take a page from uh, Anton Chekhov, where he says, uh, and he's a famous playwright. If you guys haven't seen his stuff and everything, um, um, he says you have to see people as facts, not as these like you know monsters and things like that. They're just things. They are where they are in a mm -hmm. sense. You know, just like as we see tigers and bears and things like that, you know, those Why? that's what they are. You know, when you see a racist, don't get angry. Just be like, well, that's a racist. Yeah. You know, I just got to avoid it. Just like you avoid a bear and a tiger in the wild, you know. you the, th the unfortunate thing is you have to do that with people as well. You have to avoid certain people. Do not apply emotion to it, you know. Just apply your, uh, your knowledge that you know. Where am I? I'm missing one more and I don't know where it's at. Oh, I sound far away. Oh yeah, because you keep leaning back and everything, and you gotta. This mic is not very sensitive. Like, you have to get oh. pretty close to it, or not. You don't have to get close. You just gotta be louder, because gotcha. it picks me up when I'm like across the room. But I, I have to yell. Sorry. 
How dare you? Okay, I think I saw one area that I haven't been, but I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I've been just going around in circles, swimming in the water, guys. Sorry. Because that's what happens when you deal with depression. You go around in circles. And you don't know where to go. Yeah. You just feel like you're lost. Yep. Oh, wait, this is where it came from. Oh, yeah, I went down there. I already went there. Okay, so I've already been here. I'm just missing one more thing. Okay, so this area is done. I wish I had a map or something. But no, you don't get a map, you know? You don't get a map to your head. You can make one. Yes. And we already think that this area... This is where the tree was at. The tree? The tree. The tree. I, mean, I think there was another area, though, that I skipped. But yeah, what do you guys think about that though? Honestly, like I don't want to say I'm right. Like you know, that's just what it is. It's just that's what I've what I've come to understand is that we have to take it like that. And honestly, I think it saves you so much mental energy. Holy shit! <laughs> when you just kind of go like, ah, it's people. People will be people. Do I still get angry at people? Yeah, but I I I feel like it's getting less and less uh, frequent. Oh, you can see my balding. Ugh. That's not balding. I know. It looks like it to me, though. Because I'm slightly Because I've been to that one. You're slightly superficial. Well, not superficial. I'm slightly, uh, um, what's the word? I'm How do I get over here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um. I, I was supposed to go over here and I just messed up. So I can't get that thing up there. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, Maybe I can't. There. I can, but I don't want to get that one. I'm gonna go down here and see what, what exactly I'm supposed to do here. What? <laughs> I was gonna say no. Oh, it was right. There's that thing. I'm so silly. I was like looking at it last time. I didn't bother going for it. Okay, so I have to somehow get in there. How do I get in there? Where you at? I'm trying to get that. That I'm right there. Can you go up? Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here. Cool. It's a reflection. It is? Yeah. Okay, I was able to go in there, but I can't. Is there a hole here? Ah, there we go. Got it. Oops. Okay, got them all. God damn it. I can't believe I was there. <laughs> Let's see it. Hi, pues. pues. I don't wanna. I don't desire more, Josh. I just desire what I need. All right, Gandhi. <laughs> Thanks. Be careful. A big sweaty eye on in a big room with a lot of stuff. Yes, what else? It's a big turtle. It's gonna light our way into the dark recess of our shadow side. Dark dude! Yeah, he actually is, look at that. He's like, Chia, yeah, bro, we're gonna go in the Australian current. Or whatever. I see you. I see you. Okay, uh... Do you see Gigantism? A -C -A -C Thanks! A -S 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 uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, it's uh, my statue again! Surfing. Because our inner narcissism. Yeah. Of course we're gonna have set you know so that's the thing I've kind of come to understand is that all of our self you know a lot of uh, a lot of us have a lot of self-deprecation yep. and self um, self-hatred whatever yep. in a sense that's still narcissistic because we look at ourselves and be like yeah you know this is you know the, this person is the one that sucks and everything it's just like we're still like kind of focusing on ourselves but it's just aggression. We have this aggression, and instead of t taking it out on other people, we focus on ourselves and take it out on ourselves. Damn. 
Because humans, and we're just naturally aggressive. It's just what we are. We're animals. Yeah. What do you want? That's why we got to understand that aggression is... Ooh, booty crap. Um, aggression... <laughs> aggression isn't a bad thing. It just no. depends on where you point it towards. I know that's your back, but still, it's pretty close to the spot. Yeah. Or design their developers. Or is it? Why would you want to enter her butt? Because sometimes you gotta pull your head out of your- I don't know. You know what? You say that, and then I'm like, actually, that would have been kind of a funny insight. <laughs> I would not be surprised if they did that. <laughs> I'm open up the window because it's hot as balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go. That takes time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can open up your, your mouth and give me your thoughts, okay? Well, no, I just I would have thought maybe there would have been, like, no oh, noise uh, interference or something. Oh, I don't- Give us. Like we'll have a third guest in it, <laughs> the Santa Anas. <laughs> we unlock the strongest color. Orange. White. No, I'm just <laughs> Sorry, I always like to make terrible jokes. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Why? Because you're white. Yes. How, why do you feel uncomfortable then? According to society. According to society. I'm oh. an asshole. <laughs> no, it's according to the freaking vocal minority that speaks up and says terrible things that they feel is the right thing and then push other people to believe the same thing. That's so we have to remember that the problem isn't white people. It's just that people who get put into power often get a little grandiose and more narcissistic than others. Because if we point it at a certain group, we're just as bad as, you know, those people that are racist and all that stuff. That's that a eel. Oh, God. And the water. Oh! And by the way, y'all, I ain't doing that whole, like, you know, like, all lives matter thing. It's just what I'm trying to say is that we need to look at the the long-term thing. If we just focus on, you know, who, you know, like, sorry, let me rephrase that. We need to focus on who the people that are in, in trouble right now. That is important. We also have to think about what we say now that might cause trouble in the future. You get what I mean? Because, yeah, we, you know, we, we just keep saying, that, oh, yeah, you know, white people are the problem, white people are the problem. And eventually they get put in a lower, you know, place because, you know, eventually you just, you know, that, ha you know, things are going to change, hopefully, you know, but not in that direction. But people are going to get a little resentment, you know, the resentment's going to build and then it's going to repeat all over again. But, with, you know, another thing. Yeah. And that's... you. you that is a thing that humans tend to do as well. We're short-sighted. We always think about what's happening now instead of what could possibly happen in the future. And it's not necessarily to be anxious about it. Again, you know, like with the whole greenhouse, you know, the greenhouse thing that's going on with, with the world. Like, that's why I'm not really anxious about the fact that it's irreversible now. It's just like, well, hopefully we figure something out. And if we don't, you know. The time has come. <laughs> the time has come. I don't know, it's just the end of the day, it's like, we, we, we can't keep blowing up on everything. We can't, we, we always want to turn the dial on everything and then hope that, you know, we think that that passion, that emotion, uh, is gonna just, you know, be the solution. But you have to have a, a balance of care and also calmness. Otherwise, you're just gonna cause more problems. I don't know. I feel like eventually it just leads to self-righteousness and, it's, you know, where people will just think, oh, I'm a better person because I care more. And it's like, uh, it's, life's all about balance. You might care too much. You're not really making a, a, you're making a change, but it might not be for the better. Where's that eel? Where is it? The eel. Excuse me, the eel. 
Oh, oh shit! <laughs> boogity boogity. Ow! Ow! This, this game won a bunch of awards. Let's see why. I mean, I'm just swimming up, but it's still a beautiful game. Uh, they actually have death scenes, but I don't want them. No. Like I, I feel like they could ruin the moment. Yeah, don't ruin the moment! Ah! Yeah, oh, it's, it's the turtle, bro! <laughs> turtle came out of nowhere. By the way, guys, the audio uh, echoing on the microphone, I might have to turn it down just a little bit. Beautiful. Yeah, a little bit. You. You. Oh, shoot. I'm too high. Hey. Uh, Back to the surface area. You beat to pressure with your turtle friend. Be honest, though. Sometimes when I talk about this stuff, I just want to shut up and just not say anything. Just keep it to myself. Yeah. But like your opinions are so, yourself. Well, it's just more of just like, you know, I know people are not asking, but... Or some people are. You know. like that, though, I, but, th I mean, this is my stream, so, I mean, yeah. you don't have to listen. Either. When you name your, stump, your, your stream something like Existential Game, I think people are coming in to talk about philosophical ideals and existential crises and stuff. The whole point of the cast is to talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't have named it Existential Gamer if, if you were talking about poodles, would you? Look, I was just being pretentious when I named this thing. I, was kidding. <laughs> I mean, some people would be, but I doubt that was your intention in the first place. I don't know. I feel like I was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now I'm actually trying to be existential. existential, you know, rolling with the name now. But I feel like at the time when I did name it, I was just like, oh, what's a cool word to use for Exist my name? <laughs> existential. Wow. Well, that's hopefully you evolved beyond that. Yeah. Nah, you're right. I'm just saying what it is. Like, I really wasn't thinking about it when I first named it. The same old I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I can pretend like it was this great vision that I had. That's life, man. Serendipity. Serendipity. Oh! Ooh, speed run! Speed run! Oh! 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 oh. oh. What? Oh, these. I have to admit, my views have changed a lot since oh, wait. the therapy anyway, so I try my best to be as level-headed and kind as I can. It's, it's hard. Hey, me and you both, have, uh, do you mind if we talk about the therapy stuff? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Me and you have both um, seen the same therapist, and yeah. um, she's a great woman. Great woman. Great woman. Um, shout out to her. I don't know if she wants to say her name, so I'm not going to say the name. But um, she said after you, we could talk about that <laughs> stuff. We can actually converse. But um, I can't see anything. But I, I was going to say was that like, to be honest, like as much as I learned so much from her, there were things I didn't agree with her either. Yeah. Like there were things, and and that was great because she respected that as well. You know, that's, that's why she's such a professional. She's really good at her job. Um, and one of those things was morality. Like we just didn't agree on the idea of morality what am i supposed to do here i'm supposed to awaken oh wait sing can i sing now no huh. we have to take a third day oh. on this oh no we're really at an hour should be good i think we're at the end too 
Um, but yeah, so like even like you guys gotta understand you're not gonna agree with everybody. It could be like the most one of the most important people in the world, like you know, your wife or something, your girlfriend. Yep. And you won't agree with them. Like you'll not agree on things, and that's okay. You know? Life doesn't have to be, you know. You don't have to find the right person to constantly agree with them all. Well, I'll be honest though, and when it comes to mor morals and values and stuff. Maybe you shouldn't be with that person if you don't agree on those things. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to, like, your friends and stuff like that, like, you don't have to have the same, you know... I mean, the moral thing, it depends. <laughs> if one of you believes in, like, mass genocide and the other one doesn't, I mean, yeah, that's going to be a big difference. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe, hopefully, you guys can talk about it. But uh, when it comes to, like, you know, little differences in your morals and values, like, you have to be more open to that stuff. Yeah. You know, that just what makes you unique that you have different viewpoints. Yep. But you were gonna say sorry. I, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I'm enjoying the game still. Guys, I'm a terrible person. Uh, please feel bad for me. You're a Thanks. talkative person, and that's fine. <laughs> you have opinions, that's okay. Oh, man. Ever since I read that fucking book, man. Which one? The Robert Green book? Yeah, the, the Laws of Human Nature. Like, anytime I, like, want to like be like ah oh, guys you know i'm really not i'm just like shut up michael you're just trying to get attention <laughs> <laughs> i can't do it anymore i can't like anytime i'm just like oh guys you know i'm just you know i'm really not that great like trying to humble myself and everything i was like shut up you're just trying to make everybody think you're like a good person or everything which you know i do think i'm a good person but i don't need to say it okay yeah. Because that's what real humbleness is it's not having to constantly re reiterate to yourself exactly you know, you are decent and well-meaning. I just show through, show it through my actions. Exactly. I always try to be a good friend. I always try to be, just, you know. Which is why I still am a part of this show. <laughs> and and when I say trying to be a good friend, like to my to my viewpoint of what a good friend is, you know, somebody can totally be like, "You're not a good friend," and I can be like, "Well, that sucks that you see it that way, but I'm doing my best." Like, I'm sorry you have higher expectations of me, like, of what a friend does. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll be honest, I did that to people, too. I thought friends should do, like, I would take my, what I did as a friend and apply that to somebody else and be like, well, you're not doing the things I do, so you're obviously you're not a good friend. But I realized that was so wrong. Like, it's kind of like, um, you know, if you ever, if you ever seen the book or uh, um, read the book or if you heard about it you know the different love languages some people just show how they care in different ways and so you know you might show it a certain way and be like oh you know i'm a good you know not a good you're you know a good friend because you do this thing that you believe is how you show how you care and somebody might do it a different way and you just probably just don't understand at the time because it's just not the way you do it you know same thing with love i mean in a sense friendship is love it's just a different form of love. So I, I love Josh. No, yeah. no hetero. Um, I mean, no. Home. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, I actually did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't care. Just, you're not my type. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh, jeez. This got real existential. You hurt my feelings. He said, he said, I'm oh, not yeah, I still type. like you as a friend. You just know my type. I'm sorry. You know my type. I'm taking it personal. Oh, you know, maybe you should become Javier Bardem then. That's that's on you. Harvey what? Javier Bardem. Some people are like this guy. Really? I have to look it up. I just want to. <laughs> I want to know. It's like you either gotta be Javier Bardem or you gotta be um, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. I don't Harvey, what? Bard, Bardem? That guy? Yes! Oh yeah, I can't, I don't have that chin. Sweet Jesus, that man. Is it the guy from, uh, The Walking Dead? Bash the guy is No, dead that's, uh, that's, uh, oh god, I forgot his name. He's married to someone. Oh, this guy looks like that guy, but yeah, you're right, it's not him. Yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. We're not. I'm not even showing anything. <laughs> I just wanted to know who that was. You want to look up Bruce Campbell too, where you're at, just so that we can get an idea of what my types are. <laughs> All right, I yeah, I like Ash from Evil Dead. Yeah. Yep. Woo! So he, he likes assholes, guys. He likes <laughs> assholes. 
Hey, Harvey Kirkbarn Jones is a kind, gentle soul. I mean, you might just be biased, I don't know. Eh, yeah, it's a little biased, but... <laughs> <laughs> and now people are going to question you, like, he was talking about Kate Dennings, and now he's talking about Bruce Campbell? What is this guy? Like, who knows? I'm an enigma to you all, because you barely know me. I don't Stop think I, I don't. I don't think I've ever like thought about like what guys I find, you know, because you know I don't find guys attractive yeah. in the sexual way. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I've seen guys where I'm just like, damn, that's a handsome dude. Like, yeah, that, I mean, that's how I feel about it. And I'm not like trying to be like all that, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I totally get you. So that those are the kind of guys I find I think are attractive looking, mm -hmm. and they're very handsome. I, 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 the way I see it is kind of like you, you, it's, cause like, how are you gonna find yourself attractive if you can't even like look at other, you know, other guys and be like, like, oh wow, that's a pretty attractive guy. Like that's, yeah. that's my goal. Like I want to be that attractive and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't, you know, maybe a different jaw structure or things like that. You're just like, yeah. ah, you know, I can't no. get that. And so you got to find your own way of like being attractive. But you kind of have like a template at least, you know, you're just like, okay, I'll, maybe you like their fashion sense or their personality and you, in a sense, it becomes like a role model. Yep. You're just like, oh, you know what? That's the kind of dude I want to be because he's, you know, in my, in my eyes, I think he's very attractive. Like maybe I might meet a girl who finds that attractive as well. And you know, yeah. we hit it off because we find the same traits attractive. <laughs> I have the dashing looks of Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> well, all right then. This area is beautiful. It is very beautiful. That means we're coming to the tail end of your uh, journey. We're starting to see the beauty in our own eyes. I don't know what the point of that was. I must have missed something. There you go. No, he's. This is just to give me light again. If I want to go over there, but I think I'm supposed to go somewhere over here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm just, this is some Crash Bandicoot stuff right here. Right. You have to get the little firefly. Now, now you know some of their influences. Oh! Oh! I don't goof. I saw the red butterflies and I tried to chase them and they ran away. Ooh, what's his face from uh, South Park? Who? Kyle for Stan's dad? <laughs> I don't watch enough st South Park to know everybody. Oh, goodness. You just messing up, bro. I'm just not a cultured person. I'm not really cult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, eh, I would You're say South Park's like truly kidding cultured. You're fucking me, man. That's mean to say, too, because South Park has had some smart, intelligent conversations about things happening in the world. Well, what is... What? I just killed... Oh, okay. Um... They, they... What is to say something is not cultured or cultured? Isn't exactly. everything technically cultured? Yeah. If you want to really go super deep into it, you could say, despite Gigi Allen being a creep who uh, went around through his feces at people and uh, um, proceeded to perform acts of the questionable kind to his audience members at uh, concerts, mm -hmm. he was still a very cultured person. He was very in tune with a lot of um, oh. Buddhist ideals, and he, um, ooh. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. And he, um, was, uh, also very much, like, really into, um, I hope everybody can hear me on this one still. I think you gotta speak up a little bit more. Yeah, he's like, Gigi Allen himself was cultured and the stuff that he did was very cultured mm -hmm. but you know in order to get to his points he was trying to make he was very aggressive and animalistic in his nature so like he loved classical music and he loved um just to, actually he liked like classic country music and was very much in tune with what was going on in modern punk rock anyways but dude was a nutbag and he was just what you would consider a very uncultured person just by the acts he performed even during his shows that doesn't make sense to me doesn't make any sense 
Well, what doesn't make sense is the use of the word culture, I feel. Uh, what is it? What is what does cult being cultured mean to you? How do I fully know? Well, there you go. Because you kind of use culture. Like, when I was listening to you talking about it, like, you use culture to describe somebody who's pretty much knowledgeable of other cultures and uh, things. Mm -hmm. But then you said she, he, he acted in ways that were not cultured. But what is acting not cultured is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. I'm, like, I'm trying to refrain from talking about Gigi Allen in the sense that he was... What he was known for was going around and throwing feces at audience members and forcefully um, pushing, pushing himself on the women just randomly at his mm. shows. So I would say that like that made him, in a sense, uncultured because of the way he was presenting himself as a character. Uh huh. But um, at the same time, he. Um, He still was very in tune with what was going on, I guess, in modern society and modern music. He was, he, I think he was very liberal in his mindsets, too. Mm -hmm. So, but, like, the things he did at his shows were just, like, not, not kosher. Mm -hmm. so, so, what I think is that, and just my opinion on that whole thing is... That he's still cultured, he just acted in a certain way, you know, that I don't think equals not cultured, but just, uh, what's the word, um, kind of douchey? I guess, I feel like there's a better word for it, um, I don't know why I can't think of the word like he just aggressive like there you go. being being yeah like he was just being more primal there you go um which I wouldn't say equals not cultured you gotta do, uh... what am I doing here I don't know but I mean audience if you guys wanna Jump chime in. in please anybody know anything about Gigi Allen that I don't Oh wait, this thing up here. I didn't see this. Water. This place is so beautiful. Okay. What? What now? So the uh, Bruce Campbell's character, Ash Williams, says in Dead by Daylight all the time. What now? What now? Whoa! New uh, area. Oh hell no! Nah, I don't want to do all this. I got like a half hour. Yeah. Still got to get some meat. Yeah. So what I'm planning to do, y'all, uh, after this is I'm gonna go turn in some library books. Oh, the flamingos. Library? Yeah. <laughs> um, Which one? The Fontana one right here. Up on uh, Sierra. The Lewis? I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I need to go back there. I need to go get some books. Yeah, it's a I nice. I like going and trying to buy books from them. Ah. So, yeah, I gotta go do that. And then I'll probably grab something to eat. And then uh, I'll be back on for a late stream. I'm gonna be playing Dead by Daylight. Which and... seems fitting. <laughs> Well, it's because I'm going to be doing the, the new DLC that came out. It's the Resident That's Evil creepy. DLC. Oh, no, it's creepy as heck. In your tentacle hands. And... <laughs> yeah. Please don't mind me for a second. Okay. That was what it was. I minded you. You minded me? You, I minded you. <laughs> Breathes heavier and heavier. Deeper and deeper. Oh no, upside down. Not the upside down world. Not the upside down world. Oh no. Holy moly. Can't go that way. Who must go after everything? As if you were traveling in the sea. 
like you were a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to deal with? Hey, this is the entertainment value. You don't even pay me for this kind of material. Uh, no! You get entirely unique songs that people should grab and make an album of. Because I'm lazy and I will never remember any of the stuff I've seen. I don't know, Josh. Sounds a little grandiose to me. Grandiose? Yeah. Sounds amazing. That's a narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's good. You're welcome. <laughs> so, but seriously, You're I wish welcome. I like would, could remember half of the songs that I do off the top of my like just like do that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, love, I love doing that. I didn't make it. Oh wait, I've got to go to the tree of beer. Oh, I messed it up. There you go. Whoa, no. Okay, what now? What now? What now, Bobby? This way. Oh, that's a wall. This way. This way? Wait, why would I go that way? Can I go this way? I just want to beat this game. Okay, I know. Nope, never mind, I lied, I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's I over here. My best this is where I came from, right? Someone else in this world. Well, don't do that. And I found out I must be oh, myself. Oh, I can go through here. What's up? Oh, no. Ah, almost had it. Okay, I know what to do. Ah! Ah! Oi! At least I haven't. What did you? You hit the thing! I'm sorry! God. He wants me to pay him. I don't want to be paid. <laughs> Do I have to hit it again? You gotta switch it to video. Here, I got it. I got it. Oh, I just should've just went all the way. <laughs> I just probably had to go backwards. Oh, here we go. Yeah, now more leaned back. Ah, jeez. That's hard. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, more Rick. Wow. I have to, like, angle that perfectly. Yep. Wow! All right, got oh, it. Oh, Mario's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. What now? <laughs> you hear me dead too. Look, <laughs> you're dead outside. Okay. Yeah. I think only hear those two, right? Yeah. Possibly. Yay. I have ascended. Get your boys. Go up to the top. Can I sing? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa! Oh no! Oh. Awesome! I can sing. I can voice. fight. You have your voice. Sweet. What does it do then? Gives me the power to command the flowers. So in order to say the line flower power <laughs> Sorry. Got me fifteen more minutes. I think that's enough time, I'll probably be able to get out of here. Get get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, it's so snowy. Something new. Oh wait, I made oh. I made butterflies. Oh. Nope. No 
which ones it is. What? Do that. Sing. Oh. There you go. Made water. Oh, snaps. That sounds really good right now. Water? Snapple. But water as well, yes. Snapples. Snapples. Get that. Ooh. I like this power. Yeah. It's the best one so far. What do yellow butterflies do? Oh, I can't go over there. Yes. We ought to go get tacos again sometime soon. You want to get tacos after this? Uh, I still got a little bit of it, so I need to go and do this. I know I'm being terrible. I told him I'd be there at 6, and here I am 15 minutes before 6. He knows I'll show up late. <laughs> okay. I think we're at the end, anyways. Hopefully. I hope too. <laughs> Nope, nothing here. No! No, I saw stairs over here. I'm going into stairs. Yep, down, upside down, down. It's kind of broken out a bit, though. Giving that vertigo. A little bit. You get a little bit of vertigo. You should see me when I go to a mall. It sucks. Oh. Like, I'll get up on the second floor and I'll look over and then my mind will go... Can I jump and then do it? No, we cannot, but I can go down here and... Oi! Here, up here, or not. Oh, so there you go. Can go up there. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta. There we go. Very nice. I can't, oh, I gotta go this one. There we go! Boy! They deserve to grow. Just kidding, nobody deserves anything. Ha 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 Humble. <laughs> I think that's what makes it better though. The fact that nobody deserves anything, yet we do it anyways. Yeah. Because if you deserve it, uh, uh, honestly, I feel like that's the entitlement right there. Yeah, you say you bit. deserve something. I can't say I deserve love, I need to earn it. Wow. Yeah, and work, people... work towards making yourself a better person. And work towards making... Oh, hello! I wanted to go to heaven and I can't... Oh. Going back to the universe. This is the, the world. You can't die, you have to deal with everything that comes with it. You must try to be a better person even if it's not all Michael, let's fun. fight. Sure, what do you want to fight on? Oh, shoot, I gotta... I went right past it, didn't I? Oh, e oh wait, no, there's a thing. I don't need to sing to these plants. They don't sing need me. The they don't need me. Sing to the plants. No. 
Let him grow. I get nothing. Let him grow. Good day, sir. Good day to you. Good. Twelve minutes. I'm hurrying. Speed, son, speed. I'm hurrying, daddy. Make a run. Make a run to the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, is that like an old commercial? Or no, what? it is not. I just made that up on the spot. Oh. Sound like a good old commercial. You could you could wrote commercials in the 90s. I could write commercials now if I wanted to. Oi! Is that a spot? Is that a spot? I'm getting the hell out of here. Get in there? Get in there? Okay, how do I? You're the tiniest. How do I ascend? Uh, oh, I missed that. Oh my God! Can you, can you, wait, what is this? Need the power. <gasps> oh, I grew a Minecraft tree. You did more than that, son. You grew an actual tree. No, it's more Minecraft. No, I was kidding. We're gonna fight. <laughs> You hear that, Awesome Shark? We're gonna fight Mike together. We're a tag team. Awesome Shark and the Joush. The Joush. This is Mikey Mike A, which is your name on my phone. Mikey Mike A. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. I don't know why I did that. No. I was a... Like, how do I distinguish this Michael from all the other ones? Mikey Mike A. Mikey Mike. Get on the mic. Get, get on the mic. Get on the mic. Get on the mic, Mike. Dab. You're right, I gotta dab. No! No dabbing. How do I. Do I just sing to get the stars? No. Uh, did I miss something here? Was I supposed to get stars from somewhere? This way? No, that's a downward. That's a downward dog. Missing something, though. I don't think there's one long freaking area. Oh, Josh, I don't think we're close to finishing. No, we ain't. Gris is like, two hours. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if you're smart. <laughs> we did spend like, you know, five hours on the... What is it? Three hour game last time? <laughs> no, I was going to say on the one part with the... Um, the turtle area. Yeah, that one was a little hard though. No, I was just talking too much. Yeah, I don't have to do anything there. I need to hold on to the chair. I'm so <gasps> what is that? A token! Show you again! Gotta go this way. Okay, what is that? How do I grab that? Trying to grab. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back. You're the last up. You've gone too far. The place is too big. I'm confused. Backwards. Now there ain't no places to go except for see them too far. Anyway. Yeah, Alright, guys, well, we're done today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, that's so loud. Yeah. Atmosphere community. Alright, you know what? He's gonna take a break. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. I wanna just be done with this game. That's cheating. Is it though? It is a strategy utilized by people who eventually want to give up instead of sitting there long enough to be able to understand the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same with my Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just don't have. I don't have the time. I just. I just don't have the time. Full game process. We need to move on. We do. All right. Like, where's that part? Okay. This is the exact part we're at. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Constellations. Constellations. Okay. They did the same thing. Gonna go over here. All right. Mhm. Mm okay. What? Did, how did you get there? See, it took them two hours and 14 minutes. 
And I've already been like freaking three hours already from here. They don't even know what they're doing. Where'd my old leg come from? Where are their legs? Wait, where do you find this thing? Where does the spider come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, keep going right there. Just be patient. <sighs> We don't have time for this, okay? Did I see the Nintendo Direct? Uh, yes, no. I only saw the Smash Brothers thing. Yeah. And the Breath of Wild 2, that was about it. Let's oh, that Animal thing! Crossing. Okay. No, I saw that thing, I didn't think I had a sing to it. Though. What is going on with Animal Crossing? Is it just a Zelda thing? I don't know. I, I used to love Animal Crossing back in the day, but I just don't have time to keep on playing. Yeah. Here, Roy Rocky. No, you're dabbing. No, I wasn't dabbing, I was jumping. You were jumping like a. Oh, oh, almost went the wrong way. Oh, sh. Nah. Damn it. Oh! Yeah, it's like that white boy screaming again. Yep. <laughs> Always screaming about something. Always screaming about something. Spider time! In the obvious places, I mean, I saw it, but I thought it was something I had to grab somehow. Does it just follow me? Yep. Oh. I just gotta lean on one side. Follow me. Just keep going where you wanna be. Oh, there's one of the dots. Follow me if you want to get to where you want to be. Flowers, changing hours, music's fun. No. Alright. This way. I can make a country song out of this ambient music. Don't, please. Why not? Please. Why not? Please don't. Why? Because I'm not in the mood for country. Boy, you're going to get more country than you can even think of right now. Huh? You think it's all about you right now? What about the country? Uh, music? yeah. I mean, I'm important. In whose mind? In my mind. <laughs> Damn. That's just going to be the argument the whole time. It's like, <laughs> I'm important because I say so. Sounds I mean, like you're important to you, I'm important to me. But this is my house, so does <laughs> <laughs> It's your parents. Look, <laughs> we could argue this, but, you know, honestly, <laughs> you're right, but... <laughs> I would say you... But, there, see, there's a pecking order. This is what you gotta understand. You know, there's your, my parents, then there's game. me. Play your game. <laughs> You're then the anybody else too. that comes in, or I guess friends, no sorry, relatives, then friends. I was going to say, you are the eldest, right? No. Oh, your sister? My, uh, old, oh my, yeah, my sister and then my older brother than me. Well, then Whoa. you technically... You know what? <laughs> it's like, you're never coming over again. You get to stay on the phone and be a voice. <laughs> Yep. Oh, hey, I scared him. You mean a beetle? That's what scarabs are, aren't they? Sure, whatever. Oh, I can't even make it. I deserve. Oh, wait, I gotta go on the other side. Mm. You gotta go. I do. But I wanna see the end of this. No! Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go. I'm not gonna be offended because you dabbed. That's weird. I would have. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't just don't. It's okay. Just don't. I got you, baby. I got you. Uh, I feel like doing this because now it's like <laughs> they see us, but they know we're in the same vicinity, but then they're like going. Messed up. How are you doing today? Are you okay? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Keep on walking. I think this is the end. 
I'm just kidding. We have to go back to that area. Oh, jeez. No, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Uh, slipping and sliding. Slip sliding, please. How many do we have? Two? Three? <laughs> Two, yeah. No, wait. I have... I have enough. Okay, cool. They added it up from the other ones that we got. Oh. Jumping is faster. I, I learned that, apparently. Sometimes. Who the hell messed with me? Your mama? Your mama. Your mama. I get that last part. Oh! Gotta get to those trees. Gotta get to those trees. Gotta get there fast. Make it be me. I'm not gonna try to chase the table. And I gotta help you understand and see so that you can eventually go and leave and say, please get to the very end. Cause God, I hate playing this game to death. Right. Oh, yeah, it's over here. I went the wrong way. Dude, you go. There you go, you're fucking up. Already. <laughs> Damn it. I'm really trying. It's right here. Wee. 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 It is now legal. <laughs> it is legal. It is legal. Yes. I'm just stating the, the truth. Oh, let's speak the truth. Holy moly. Holy, holy, holy. Really? Is this the end of the game? I don't know, maybe. You're back to the title screen. Oh, that's true! I didn't even realize that! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's yeah. You're enjoying it too! You're like, ha 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 ha! Camera trick! Camera trick! Look at the arms! Look at the arms! <laughs> yeah, we're back at the title screen. You got your voice back, you came back to the title screen. She's now able to rationalize the real world. We're gonna land back on the hand. We're gonna land back on that hand that fell apart, right? Right? Am I a genius? Am I just like a? Pr <laughs> no. I'm, egg on your face. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm just. I'm really dumb. If just I had stupid. a fake egg, I'd throw it at you. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> buy it online, and make that a thing. Do I have you to climb that there. now? Hmm. <laughs> Point of the game. Oh, it's like a lot of jumping. Is it really though? Yeah. Thank you for that one. I'm gonna use it. I see the button. Release the fiends! Release the butters and the flies so that they may they make butterflies. I didn't jump right. <laughs> Give me them freedom fries. I say let them be flies. <laughs> no. Freedom, freedom, Don't tell me my flies. depression's back. Yep. It's you now. Oh, I was wrong. Right. Oh, it's you. But yes. What is it now? It's what now? Be you. It's gotta be just you. Yep. It's you. Jeez. Okay. Phallic like. Oh god, oh, that Lord. isn't creepy. We. Oh my goodness. Depression. We. You were like, tune in to the Twitch and see where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. We've been consumed by our depression again. We, um. We have relapsed. But that is part of the journey, y'all. You will relapse, and it's okay. You just gotta... This is your moment to, to truly show how much you've learned and to challenge it. It's the test. And sometimes you will fail the test. That's a lot of darkness. It ain't that dark. Or like your heart... Wow. You, got a dark, you don't have a dark heart? You have a huh. good heart? <laughs> he, uh, he's trying to he's trying to attack my character. Wow. Are you saying you're a jerk? 
What? That's what I was saying. It's like not as dark as your heart. No, oh, but I didn't say that. That was you. Yeah, true. Oh, we made it. This was at the that one area that we got to the very bottom yeah. with all the butterflies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we started your journey. See, the reason why oh, everything is black yeah. and white and gray is because it's supposed to represent all or nothing thinking and how there's no really in between, even though gray is an in between color. See, don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what I'm trying to tell you here. Um, I'm right and you're wrong. All right, okay, got it. Wait, okay, calm down, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's one of the guys that like probably influences that kind of mindset nowadays, though. See, I don't really care for that mindset. Not the black hey, mindset. Right. I'm talking about like the mindset that we're trying to have. No, I, I, I don't really care for his um. Well, I don't know. If to, oh, right, same. I feel like he's still he has a more of a pessimistic. Um, I want to say it's well adapted, but it doesn't really come off well adapted. It seems there's a slight maladaption to it. And so, that's why I say I don't really agree with his mindset. He's an intelligent man, don't get me wrong. Like, you can see it. And he's very self-aware. But you could be self-aware and intelligent and still be in a shitty mood. <laughs> and be... Yeah. So it's not like he's justifying to make what he's No. It's just these... And that's what I'm saying, like, I don't really, I don't really click with his, uh, his thing, but I enjoy, like, I enjoy, like, I enjoy it nonetheless. Same here, I like this one. Because I do slip into that mindset every now and then, but I don't want to be in that mindset. Yeah. So I, I, no sense, I guess I get it. You are damn slow. Pretty loud. You keep raising it, lower it. You've been raising it this entire time, haven't you? You have, haven't you? I was wondering too, I was like, why is it getting louder? Ha <laughs> ha, everybody! Ha <laughs> ha! This depression sucks. I mean, you could just imagine it, and it could feel a little but that real. That makes it weird. No one has no, to know. Yeah, no one has to know. I hated that for the Grubhub, where they just stole that. I'm like, that's messed up, guys. That's not how content. That's not, that's not how organic content is. Like, ugh. what are you talking about? So Grubhub would use the um, that no one's gonna know TikTok. And they would. Oh, I don't go on TikTok, so I don't even know what that is. No, it was it's a it's a TikTok thing. But, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, go ahead. But I had something I wanted to talk about. Yeah, remind me. Yeah, but I just died. Like, Grubhub or Uber or somebody used it, and for their commercial, because they took advantage of the fact that you can take TikTok videos and stuff because they're kind of open source. Uh huh. And um, you know, they made a quick buck out of advertising with that. So people be careful with your TikTok content. Um, big corporations starting to steal it. I'm not trying to be that guy, but it, it friggin' happened. I saw it in real time. <laughs> she went to heaven. Found clarity. Oh, wow. Don't stay too up in the clouds, though. 
Sometimes you gotta ground yourself every now and then. Those are peaks, man. The peaks. Wow! Um, All right, guys. What was I gonna say? Dancing time. That's what you're gonna say. You know what? It wasn't important. I just realized. I know what it was, but we don't need to go because it wouldn't be a long conversation. We're already done with the game. Anyways. We'll save it for the next game. Yeah, I'll write it down. Yeah. Um, write but down. thank you, y'all, for watching. I'm gonna switch the camera back uh, when I get back. I'm gonna go do my stuff. Um, and then we're gonna get back and play some Dead by Daylight. You guys enjoy that. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some Chinese food and go play D and D. You have anything to say before we go? I don't know. Stay cool. Like literally, stay cool. Cause it's hot. Drink water. Hydrate. Um. <laughs> go listen to my podcast if you haven't. What did mm. I just buy? Please. Mike's on it. The more people that listen to it, the more I will be uh, in. in <laughs> Into to putting out more. I'm actually doing an interview tomorrow. Oh, really? At 7 o'clock, yeah. Buddy Mike from my film classes back at RCC. So, I'll be doing that. There should be a couple new episodes coming up soon, I promise. I just. Oh! I finished the zine. I think I talked about that last Yeah, time. you said we were going to share that one. Yeah. When uh, I get the PDFs for it from the guy that I'm working with, I will print them out. And if you guys want them, I'll send you copies. So find Sounds me good. on Facebook through Mike or. Instagram on his extra Do you have an Instagram for existential gamer? No. Not yet? I mean, I use, usually just use my main one because I don't really use Instagram at all. Okay. Uh, you hold my <laughs> I will set that. I'll try to set that up. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our discussions and this game, this beautiful game. Yes. Uh, I'll see you guys later tonight. One last note. I hate self-promotion because it's hurting me inside deeply. <laughs> no, you don't. Why? I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I'm being selfish. Especially when but I'm But you are. Me. I know I'm selfish. And that's okay. Okay, now we're getting excited. Are you hurting somebody else? <laughs> no, I'm not. Exactly. Son of a bitch. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so you know, If other people get offended, they got issues too, okay? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, honestly, <laughs> like, at the end of the day... If you're getting like, wow, that guy's a freaking doing that. Wow, that really offends me. Like, freaking go find yourself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to check out the Nintendo Direct thing too. I've been very much wanting to know what's going on. Kind of awesome. I'm done talking. I need to go <laughs> play D&D. &D, go. Food. Leave. I want. They would need to see you leave on the camera. I want to see you go out the door. Go out the door. The camera's on the door too, so we can see you leave. Yeah. I want to see we I want I want them to see you leave. Bye everybody. Okay, now now that's just weird, okay? So all right, anyway. See you later. I'm going to go over there too.